friends we are going to study the reactivity of carbonyl group in aldehydes or ketones so first let's see what is the polarization of carbonyl bond now in carbonyl bond there is a presence of carbon and oxygen there is a presence of double bond between carbon and oxygen and we know that oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon therefore the one of the electron pair present between the carbon and oxygen get attracted towards the oxygen atom and therefore it gets negative charge whereas carbon gets positive charge so here carbon is electron deficient and oxygen is electron rich center these are the two resonance structures of the carbonyl bond so again the electron pair present on the oxygen can be shared between carbon and oxygen and we get back the carbonyl bond now we will see the nucleophilic attack on carbonyl bond nucleophile means the electron rich center the lone pair of electron present on the nucleophile or the excess electron pair can be donated to the electron deficient carbon because we know that carbon is positively charged whereas oxygen is negatively charged <coughs> so in this way the electron pair present on the nucleophile can be donated to the electron deficient carbon and the electron pair present between the carbon and oxygen get shifted towards the oxygen atom which is more electronegative the bond between the positively charged carbon and the nucleophile is formed and you can see here the formation of bond between the carbon and nucleophile now we will see the factors affecting the reactivity of carbonyl bond so first factor is the steric factor so steric means here the bulky nature of the atom or group we will see the examples the first example is formaldehyde second example is acetaldehyde third example is acetone now we will see the structures of the formaldehyde acetaldehyde and acetone now you can see here the atoms or group present around the carbonyl group in formaldehyde two hydrogen atoms are attached to the carbon which are small in size whereas in acetaldehyde one hydrogen and one methyl group is attached to the carbon of the carbonyl group and in acetone two methyl groups are attached to the carbon of the carbonyl group now the size of the methyl group is greater or bigger as compared to the hydrogen you can see the structures of formaldehyde acetaldehyde and acetone in acetone two bulky methyl groups are present in acetaldehyde only one methyl group is present and in formaldehyde two smaller size hydrogen atoms are present 
so whenever there is a nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl group the size of the sub size of the these groups are very important due to the bulky nature of the methyl groups they resist the nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon and therefore formaldehyde is more reactive than the acetaldehyde and acetaldehyde is more reactive than the acetone so this is the steric factor which affects the nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl bond there is another factor called as electronic factor to study the electronic factor how it affect the reactivity of carbonyl group we will see the following examples that is the formaldehyde acetaldehyde and acetone now in case of formaldehyde two hydrogen atoms are attached to the carbon of carbonyl bond in case of acetaldehyde one methyl and hydrogen groups are attached to the carbon of carbonyl bond and in acetone we see the two methyl groups are attached to the carbonyl carbon if we see the electron releasing nature of the methyl group then it gives the electron density towards the electron deficient carbon of the carbonyl bond now in case of acetone there are two methyl groups which are releasing electron towards the carbon for electron deficient carbon of the carbonyl bond and therefore it becomes less reactive in case of acetaldehyde only one methyl group is present but it is also the electron releasing group and therefore it also reduces the reactivity of carbonyl bond but in case of formaldehyde two hydrogen atoms are there and they are not electron releasing groups and therefore if we see the reactivity of these three compounds formaldehyde is more reactive than the acetaldehyde acetaldehyde is more reactive than the acetone and thus if we see the reactivity of all these compounds then we find that reactivity increases from acetone to the acetaldehyde and from acetaldehyde to the formaldehyde so formaldehyde is the most reactive and acetone is the least reactive 